Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at RefMe, which you can find at refme.com. It's a great service designed to help students create citations and bibliographies. It's available to use as an iOS or Android app. You can also use it in your web browser. I'm already signed in to my account over here. And the first thing you'll want to do is have your students create some projects into which they're going to save links files and other things that they're going to use. So let's go ahead and add a project here. We'll just call this one a sample project. And now we want to set up the style and we'll click there and we can choose the citation style and format that we want to use. You can see I already had APA selected but I can easily switch it and say I want to use MLA and now everything will be formatted into MLA. And you can switch back and forth, so if a student makes a mistake and starts out in APA and decides later they need to be in MLA, it won't affect uh, everything that they've already saved. It'll automatically switch over. So now we can create a reference. Uh, we can search for a book by title, author, ISBN. Uh, we do the same thing for any of these other features including all of these things, including a thesis, TV, radio broadcast, blog posts, artwork. Let's go ahead and look at a web page. So I'll paste in the link to a web page and do a search for it. And now we can save it. Now if I need to add some notes to this, I'll just click over here. I'll open this up and I'll add in a note. I might say the Apple Pencil looks neat. And we'll save that. And now my note is added here to the link. Now, another way that we can go about adding references is to use the RefMe Web Clipper. And I'll select the RefMe Web Clipper here. And now I'll select the project into which I'm going to save the things that I clip. So I'll say sample project. And with it open, I can now go in and highlight a portion of this. And I'll save that. And now let's see what that looks like in our project. And there we go. And now we have our two references saved in our sample project. And of course, we want to export it. We can click the export button down here. And as you can see, we can send it to Evernote. We can get it as a Word document. Or we can just copy and paste everything. So that's RefMe. You can find it at refme.com. It's a great tool to help students create citations and format bibliographies. And for more tips and tricks like this, check out freetech4teachers.com.